What's going on, bro? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft with Michael, Michael or a phone. It sort of cuts out sometimes. Interesting. Well, he's probably just using it incorrectly. Yeah, let me get it closer to my mouthpiece. Yeah, put it right in your mouth. Put it inside your mouth. I like fourth year lingus, and I'd probably take that if Time Walk wasn't in here. But Time Walk is in here. You ever take two turns? Answer me. Yeah. A time trizzle you, lunch. Are you time trizzle ones? Stretched. It's where you take three turns, basically. I know what time stretch does. You ever use expropriate? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I moved. I'm here in real life, and Michael's here. But you can see, like, see, I moved the camera so that it looks better, so that I'm, like, it, like we're facing this way. Um, <clears throat> however, if I look this way, I'm actually looking at Michael. I guess, could, I, could I just switch him? Would that, would that work? What if I, like, move my... Oh, dang it. What if I move myself here? Dang it. You got to click it right. Okay. What if I do this? Is this better? Yeah, yeah but that cuts, cuts off your a little bit of your back. back. So, so it looks as natural. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but. What if I put you in the front? And then Ooh. I'm in the back. What if I'm like down here like this? I kind of like Palace Jailer here. I feel like it's definitely the strongest possible card. I feel like it's probably the strongest card in this pack. Narset's nice. Palace Jailer is really messed up in 1v1. It's like a design flaw, basically. I'm moving my mic roller phone. Okay, let's go back to normal. So you can see more of my beautiful face. That's all we ever wanted. That's all anyone ever wanted. You gotta see my tiny little mouth, you know? Look at my tiny mouth. Yeah, alright, I'll just take Palace Jailer. It's a messed up card. Especially in 1v1. You ever heard that? Aaron Mesa is probably the pick here. I like Leovold, but we're not going to Leovold with these colors. I like Skull Clamp, but I think I think having uh, an Aaron Mesa and we have a double white card here is pretty good. I feel like we're, I mean, it's very early, but it feels like this would go a blue white direction. Blue white aggressive deck. I'm just hoping the fourth Irolingus comes back. You know, this is just me channeling that. Little weenies and big old counter spells. I like Chandra. I like Sarah Paragon a lot. I think this card's. Super good. I think most of the white base decks have a ton of three or less. Uh, I know that one. During each of your turns, you may can land from your graveyard. Or it's like Lurus, Holy except for shit. three mana, three mana spells, and then they just get exiled if they leave. But like, is it three mana only, or it's three or less? That's a really strong. Yeah, it's really shit. good. I think it's really good. Also, like the more competitive it's like a, format, it's like a it's tiny better. Sun Titan. Yeah. yeah. I think Stern Scolding is fine. I just think Sarah Pyron's really good, especially like we already have a fetch. Oh, well, A-Line Binding. That could be interesting. We have an Arid Mesa. Yes, we can make it three less, which is still pretty good, right? I mean, I can, assuming we have I'll pick colors. any Tri Land. We also take Spells Queller. Spells Queller? Add an S because I'm. <laughs> so many spells. So many. Well, because you know he's, he's going to counter more than one, you know? Yeah, I'm just going to take with the Binding here. It's, it's kind of cool not paying attention to all the sets lately because I'm like, look at all these new things. Oh, got a little ledgy. Little ledgy. That guy, I know that one. That also a resto. Uh, we can recast our ledgy. Also, I think, man, no, neither of them are probably not coming back, right? Neither of them are probably Maybe. not coming back. Well, well, they're probably Faith is looting because, no, people like that card. Michael's English is, is like true Southerner English. No, yeah, neither of them are not probably coming back now. And you're yeah. like, you know, I... It wasn't spoken correctly, but I definitely understood what you said. Oh, I do love a Dothy for what walk. problem is. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, it's not too late to do Esper. <clears throat> that card's good. But it's double black, which is a little rough. Oh, you're a little... Interesting. Mm -hmm. You're clip, you clipping a little bit. I think That's it's just true. Bone Crusher. I like Bone Crusher with Sarah Paragon. We already got this Arid Mesa. There was an Inspired Vantage and a Spire Bluff Canal in the packs. And this Fire Islet, mm, probably not coming back. I think I, I'm going to wager that the the Rampaging Raptor comes back. That's my guess. Hello. <laughs> I like how when I say that, he instantly knows the look. I'm like, that's Katie. Katie's. Call. Yeah, that yep. means Katie's in the chat. <laughs> Can you move Michael's camera over? He looks too close to you. Yeah, that's fine. Is it? Oh, wow. I disappeared. Oh, so that, that looked like a transition. Oh, oh, you, you could turn, turn me the other way and we could do it on both corners. On both corners? Yeah. See how that looks. I'm curious. Oh, God. If it's too much, don't. It's too late. I'm doing it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, sunbaked canyon. I, I like, like that. that. It's like, like you ever get sunbaked? Every day. Okay. <laughs> Not really. You also take Heliod and then maybe... No, I'm just going to take the canyon, especially with Sarah Paragon. Uh, I do like Winds of Abandon. You ever have your opponent with like eight creatures and then you Winds of Abandon and it just kills all their shit? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And like no amount of lands they get ever makes up for the fact that all their creatures are gone. In Commander, it can be very relevant when three people get that many lands though. I'm surprised you're, stream you're steaming MTG and not under your Parallax Adventure. Yeah, well, <clears throat> you know the the market on the on the hunters adventure is still pretty. Thank you. MTG Pyro, MTG Pyro gives no time whatsoever for any subs to naturally accumulate. Which you know, as someone who's streaming and appreciates the income, like that's how, that's Thank not a, it's not really a real problem. But to say what problem? Is. Yeah, it's just comical though, dude. I really appreciate you, MTG Pyro. You're fucking awesome, dude. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> What a welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Fiery Confluence came back? Oh, boy. Also, how do you feel about this card? You don't even know what it does, I bet. Makes a 2-2 two, two for 2. Thank and then at the beginning of your end step, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control and you untap them. I have seen that one, but I, the black one is the one I remember because it's the strongest one for Commander. I think we're just taking Fiery Confluence. Like, that card just kills people. Bananas. Blood Crypt is interesting. We can get it with Arid Mesa, and it also makes Leyline Binding one cheaper. I'll take a Blood Crypt. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a good point. You could do an Um Hello emote. Um Hello? <laughs> How would... What? Yeah, we'd have to... Have a no. Or a Wally and Watchmen emote. You're really messing, messing up. Big yeah, time. It's, it's, that's, it's not good husband material. I mean, she, she can't get a... You can't get a sticker. Right. They're not called stickers. An emote. Babe, let me know if this is better for Michael. <laughs> <laughs> like for me as a person or? Who knows, man? Perfect. <laughs> Perfection. I'll just scooch over a little bit. Look, Michael, when your wife says you're too close. It's, it's like, like that, that meme where it's like, like uh, no, no, I want the real one. one. No, no, the real one. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Michael's microphone is echo. Yeah, it's probably just hitting mine. I don't know. I need to look up the settings. It happens every time. <sighs> after after the draft portion, I'll look into it real quick. Can we get a big pop socket? Can we just put it in between us? That would work. A pop socket, like on yeah. the, like you put the ones you put on a cell phone. A pop filter. <laughs> yeah, socket. It filters <laughs> instead of socketing. Uh, this is. Oh, I'm gonna take batter skull in case we get stone forge. Oh, Utopia Sprawl. I was going to say Utopia Sprawl, but then I was like, no, people have been liking Utopia Sprawl. And so I chose against it. Ooh, I like Prismatic Vista here. Can we be a Soul Herder deck? What do we got with Soul Herder? We have Palace Jailer. Can we get Ant-Man Moochel? Yeah, sure, we can do that. Do you mean he has to go up someone's butthole? Oh, I see. I was like, what? There we go. The Paul Rudd Special, as I like to call it. Um, I think Soul Herder or Zerda or Talisman might come back. If any of these three come back, it's kind of okay. I think I just want Vista if I'm three colors here and we got a binding. Not the most exciting first pick, but Fracture Identity is a pretty exciting second pick. So it's pretty dang good. It's like a treachery, but they can never get it back. Also, there's a Mana Vault. We have no good blue lands yet, but there's no chance I'm not playing Time Walk and Ledger Shredder. So... Yeah, I think it's still Fractured Identity. You know when you're drinking a chocolate drink and then you get a big clump of chocolate in your mouth? Oh, like a big clump of mayonnaise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the actual best. You're really good at clicking other stuff for me. You're really good at <laughs> not shutting up. Do you ever think about that? I do again because of that bugle. Yeah, I can punish you. Frankie will, Frank will do a little punishment. Been meaning to catch a streamer and ask, would you ever consider making a video or videos on making a cube? Didn't you, Pug, you asked me that in a video and I meant to respond to that. I was actually, in my head, I was like, hey, that's a pretty good idea. And then I literally forgot to respond. It's like when you read a text and you're like, oh, I got to respond to this. And then four days later, they're like, hey, you never responded to my text. And I'm like, oh, okay. Are you looking at my... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you had a Southern Sweet Tea? Is that any good? Oh, you got that salt and sweet tea? 
I got Caracas. Lotus Field. What are you okay? What do you have to do? It's behind the camera. For me, personally. Inquisition of Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Not a big deal. Is this time warp? Do we just time work and time time work? <laughs> y'all never y'all ever time warped? Twice. Yeah, I have some ideas for a key, but no idea how to focus it and start picking cards. I'm actually I'm also gonna do a video of the new there's a there was a a cube update article this week of all the updates to the MTGO vintage cube, which is coming out this week, and I'm gonna make a video and put that up tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just gonna take time work here. I'm gonna make a video. Yeah, video, a legacy video. God, I love Manguchi. He's easily like the most wholesome magic player. He's, He's up, up there. there. Big fan. Oh yeah, big fan. I remember I remember when I was I was I remember Pro Tour O to the Gate Watch. The top eight were all backstage and we were waiting for like the, the matches and stuff, and it was like this kind of like little area where like they had food and drinks, and you can each have a guest. And sadly, I didn't have a guest at the time. <clears throat> well Manguchi was like, hey. I want to go hang out back there because Calcano's back there. Or I think Calcano was back there. Someone was back there. Anyway, Manguchi asks and he's like, "Hey, can I come? Can I can I be your guest and come hang out back there?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, man. Come on back." And so then then Manguchi went back there and it was like, "What a wholesome! He's just such a wholesome dude." Yet, so speaking of not responding to things, <laughs> I did. Yeah, Actually, so I I was I'm t I was taking a a course in Unity. Um, I just think Tefri here is very good. Um, and my, my final project was due this week. So I, I was basically up until like 9am some nights doing that. Definitely taking Tefri here, even though I do like true name nemesis. Remember that time we didn't have any blue cards and then we just picked up Tefri for extra identity and time warp. I wonder if we want true name over here. Why? Because we don't want to like threats right now. Threats. I got yeah. bone crusher. <laughs> oh, my mistake. You ever recast a Tefri from your graveyard with a Sarah Paragon? No, I haven't. Because I mean, I've never played the card, so. Tefri. You never cast a Tefri? No, no, the other one. Oh. Sarah well, Paragon. Well, Got I it. I cast a Tefri once, and I was like, man, this, this should be illegal. Yeah, we're taking a Restless Spire. Oh, Restless Bivlag. So many Restless lands. These lands are getting Restless. Restless. I also like a miscalc. I like I like both of these lands in miscalculation here. Also, we have Tefri, Fracture Identity, Batter Skull. We have tons of win conditions. Batter Skull really needs a Stone Forge for it to be right. Well, maybe long. we'll get one. No one likes Stone Forge. Right. It never it never comes up. It just hasn't been in the pack, or we probably would have got it. Yeah, it, it does feel like it's always available. I feel like we're not keeping counter spells up. I think I'm just one of the restless bivouac. Yeah, we're mostly red wire. Right? Also, more creature lands better. So, oh god, Goldspan Dragon, such a beating. It's also five mana, and we got a lot of five mana things. I do kind of like Wandering Emperor here. It's just a spell, right? If a spell targets it, yeah. So, like, if I kill it with Wandering Emperor, they don't get a, an extra token. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Wandering Emperor. I feel like we're more we're more white, and I don't want a second double red card. Plus, Wandering Emperor is still good. Still good. Hmm. Soul Herder came back, so did Zerda. Surprise, surprise. Soul Herder is probably better here. So it's just blinking creatures, and we have four creatures. So, whereas this guy can make infinite mana. Sometimes. It's also just a 3-3 three, three for 3. Hero of Bladehold is just a good threat. It also makes things not block, which is a little known. A little yeah, little like, thing. no one's ever used that ability, but it is nice that it's there. I used it once. Don't lie. I'm not. Don't lie. I said once. Oh. In the deck, I played it like five. I played it with the game like ten, ten times with the card, and I think I used the ability. Oh, I actually really like this Chandra. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you can copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. So if we play this into Fiery Confluence, it just deals 12 damage. Pretty good. Plus one, you exile the top five, and then you may cast an instant or sorcery from among the exiled cards until the end of your next turn. Yeah, I'm just taking Chandra. Uh, I don't care about any of these cards. I'll just take Ranger in case we get a... Oh, get lost. That's You're telling me a Chandra card lets you exile the top cards of your library and play them? <laughs> I know. I know. You wouldn't have thought. Shock. Here we are. Big, Big if true. <laughs> Wall. <laughs> I love it when chat just says random words that are relevant at the at the specific moment. 
Big Tef, Little Tef, Wall. <laughs> oh, good times. We got it even quick because of the delay, you know? It's true. Oh, Micaeus, we can get that with our Ranger. Oh, figure, we can get that with our Ranger. Look, two last pick Ranger picks. Oh, there's a Stone Forge and a Basalt Monolith. Ah. Uh, for infinite mana though, right? Not yet. You just get it in this pack. We got a Micaeus. We'll make a 50-50 Micaeus. Cool. Then now and how do we win? <laughs> you attack with it. What about they have blocker? Basalt might table. Stoneforge is just a legitimate card here. Uh, I'm just taking Stoneforge. And if we get Cauldra complete, I'll just feel like I made the right choice, you know? Do I know? Everyone knows this one. Uh, I do like March. I like a braid. I like Lorien Revealed. Our mana's looking pretty good. We have one, two, three, four, five, seven, six fixing lands, essentially. I would love to get a land that we can get with uh, Arid Mesa that fixes our blue. Man, that frame uh, tripped me up. I thought that was Price of Progress over there for a second. But it's a braid. Wow. Okay, let's get Zerta out for now. Salad. <laughs> Solid. Is it salad? Uh, Lorien Revealed is also good. It just gets us a basic island right now, though. That might be good. Enough. I don't know. I feel like you're never going to use the other half. Oh, my mouse is really lagging right now. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, well, I guess we took Lorien Revealed. Hollowed Fountain is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> okay, well, OBS crashed for the second time. We took a Hollowed Fountain, so nothing was missed. Um, I do like a Preordain here. We don't have a red land we can search for yet, so I guess we're taking Sacred Foundry. However, I don't know why our camera is not working. So this is all going very well. I actually can't even... I can't even, like, uh, quit that. I can't even adjust the settings here. It won't even let me go to properties for some reason. Great. So that's weird. Anyway... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just going to take Foundry here because I think it's better for our mana. At least you guys can can hear us. Oh, Seasoned Dungeoneer actually is definitely the pick. I don't know why I was looking at Foundry. I think it's because I'm trying to do four, four different things at once here. Uh, I do love a Skyclave Apparition, especially with Sarah Paragon. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pick. Let's see if we can resolve this camera issue. Probably cannot. Uh, let's go to Display. Nope. Is it... Add, add camera. camera. Add video capture device. F this one. What if I add you? Deactivate. Oh, it worked. Okay. We got a camera. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me see if I can just switch scenes. Maybe that'll fix it. I have no idea. This has been... A good, a good experiment for everything. Elite Spellbinder. Oh, Fury, though. I just have so many fun. This is actually kind of like a one drop. They banned that card, don't you know? Yeah, in every format. Oh, in Commander, really? No. Oh, they didn't ban it anything, then. I don't know why. Oh, they, well, they didn't, didn't ban... ban... No. They ban Modern or whatever? No, what? They didn't ban Oh, it doesn't get you... Yeah, they banned two... They banned Fury and... Oh, Fury. I thought you were talking about Lorien Revealed, because I said this is like a one-drop, and you said, yeah, they banned it in Modern. I was like, no, they didn't. In no world would that card have to be banned. We're going to take Elite Spellbinder. Yeah, they banned the Divination to let you get land. I just don't need another five-drop here, but, but he says before Mystic Confluence comes. So Windswept Heath gets us nothing. That's sad. Don't we have a Halifam? It does get us that. Smart. I think we want Path. I don't think we have a... T well, we have Get Lost. 
Palace Jailer, Fractured Identity, Leyline Binding, Winds of Man. We actually have a, a good amount of removal. I kind of do want Skydiver. Can just steal a a thing. Oh, Athari? Oh, geez. You ever stole someone's artifact land with that thing? It's brutal. No. It's, it's so brutal. But I have too. I've stolen Moxes, and that's pretty cool. That's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm just taking Athari. Um Scrubland is fine. I mean, I would just play this as a planes that that lowers the cost of leyline binding. Hope you guys don't. Yeah. Hope you guys don't miss seeing our beautiful faces. Does the video keep going black for other people? Probably. I'm gonna try to fix everything as soon as this is uh, done. So I'll just take March, followed by Venser. Okay, I'll take Venser. Yeah, it clicks all right. All right. So this is a pretty decent looking. What a what a weird draft this has been in terms of. It's literally I haven't I haven't experienced a Twitch crash in ages. So of course today when when I add Michael B to the stream, that rascal. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely coming right back. So like, don't don't go anywhere. After this drafting portion, I'm just gonna restart real quick and see if that fixes the issue. Uh, fine, I'll take a Luminarch Aspirant. That guy's pretty good. Stoneforge not as exciting with just Batter Skull, unfortunately. Maybe I'll just cut those. This is 20. Still be worth it. This is 25. We can cut... Probably V-Click, Double Blue, and Venser. This actually seems good. I'm, I'm glad we got this Hollowed Fountain. I wish we did get a... Red White Land, but... I feel like Stoneforge gives us a nice, like, little early game package. Yeah, but if you draw the Batter Skull, it's just a 1-2 that does nothing. Like, I don't know. It's not... Yeah, I just don't like it when you only have one... One target. Yeah, I just don't think there's... Like, when we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways to splash black, splash red, there's literally no incentive to cut red. Like, it's just a free splash at this point. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I apologize for the, the draft portion related hiccups. We also have this Ranger along with figure and Micaeus. It's kind of hot. But then I kind of want to add Stoneforge back in because we have more aggressive things. Because we got more aggressive things. I don't know, this deck seems pretty good. This is 10 creatures plus Wandering Emperor. Uh, because definitely swap Fractured. Up Wait, why? Because, like, I think we want to be more aggressive. Like, it's, a, it's We're not. This is not an aggressive deck. We're not being aggressive. Like, that's not what I'm... That's not what we're doing here. I mean, we're so close to being it, though. Why? No, we're not. We have two one-drops. Like, what do we have? Like, three... Like, there's three... Like, we have Teferi. This is not an aggressive deck. Like, if you added those three cards... Plus this is not even an aggressive card. Like, this is a 2-2 two, two for three mana. And it pumps the creatures that we don't really have. We have ten creatures. Some of them are... Palace Jail, like a 2-2. Two, two. Like, they're, like, they're not... It's This is not an aggressive deck. This is like a mid-range. Oh, you think Ooh. Michael's not working now? OBS disconnected and is reconnecting. Fantastic. Is this real? I can't. I fucking can't, dude. Dude, it just updated the other day. And I'm wondering if it was just a broke. If the update's just broken. If it's just a totally borked update. Could be. Is my internet working? Who can tell? If anyone's in the chat, let me know if I'm still there. I have... This is horrendous. Still, or? I have no idea what's going on. So. La, 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 la. Oop. Oop. What are you doing? I'm testing the mic. I'm looking at the level over there. Oh, you got it. Why is he whooping? Yeah. What a madman. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 11 white sources. 2... 
three, four, five, six, six blue. Definitely going over to seven. Red, we have definitely don't need two. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five. I think we just actually don't even want to. Actually, we can cut one white for one more blue. Yeah, that seems good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's good. Like 11, 8, 7 or something? All right, kind of, I, I apologize, guys. I'm kind of annoyed at the situation because this is like really, this is the first time I've streamed in like three days and uh, all of a sudden it's just nothing is working. It's just nonstop crashing, so that's cool. I'm not even sure if this is working and your complaints are being heard. It is. It says we're live. Okay, cool. I would, I would not be talking to people if they weren't there to talk to. All right. All right. Welcome to round. Wow, this is way too big. That's the name of my art house. I'll keep this because of wall of omens. What? Never been to the companion criterion. You mean criteria? No. Hmm. So you changed the word from what I said to something different? Yeah. Fascinating. Very fascinating. You ever keep a hand because you're like, I got a wall of omens. What could go wrong? Now we got a bony boy. You like a bony boy? Sometimes. Okay. Like when your opponent's going to gain life, you know? Don't do it. <clears throat> I've kept lots of wall of omens hands. That checks out. It's you like an extra card, you know? You need wall of omens to get, to get enough time to get your thrag tusks out, you know? Five wall omens, I could draw anything. It could even be a boat. Man, you love old candy. It's the it's the inner it's my inner grandpa, you know. It definitely is. You guys got any root beers and some pal tails? <laughs> How about a Carolina chew? That's not the name of it. <laughs> that's that's a tobacco problem. <laughs> wow, the Carolina chew. Yeah. I believe you're thinking of the Charleston shoe, yeah, Michael. Yeah, that was what I was going for, but I said Carolina for some reason. You ever use a thieving Scott ever to steal this? It's pretty disgusting. It's zero, right? Yep. It's, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and you can also wait till they put counters on it. Ugh. Michael sounds like his esophagus has been lined with tin foil. How'd you know? <laughs> really? Jesus Christ. What is going on with his microphone? But mine doesn't sound like that? Can you switch the setting back to the other one? All right. How's about now? Tell me if I'm a tinfoil throat man. It's definitely on, right? This is very weird, man. Is that better? Okay, well. All right. Yeah, I'm super fast. You didn't see if I took the tinfoil out of my mouth. I saw it. Yeah, I clicked aluminum, aluminum, aluminum neutral. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a setting I had on Unity that would not that would make that might make my game not work. And I was like, great, the aluminum neutral is on. You know about the aluminum neutrals? I can't tell you about that. It's a secret society that rolls the neutrals. <laughs> there always is that thing where he gets up, he looks out the door, and he's like, "There's nothing out there for me." Any one land would be great because we got seasoned and emperor here. You ever had water, man? Sometimes I've never Katie, had a water man. Katie does this thing where she forgets to drink water all day. And then she'll be in bed and she'll have her water bottle and she'll take this sip that lasts for like four minutes. And yeah. she's like, Ugh, you ever just drink some water? And I'm like, yeah, regularly. It's really sad. Even if you drink a good amount of water normally, like in the middle of the night when you take that water sip, it's it's it hits. Because it's your so mouth hard. is like, you need to you need to drink something. Cubans aren't very good at retaining water. Did you say Cubans? Humans. Oh my god, I was like, that's the most racist thing I've ever heard. Also, it'd be so weird, because it's like, did you just make up that weird racist? Yeah, I thought you did. Hey, big man. Hunter's got his dental this week on, like, I think it's Wednesday. 
What do you think they got with their... I'm just going to pass here because I bet they got, like... I bet they got Mana Drain. Ugh. Are you okay? Ugh. so bad. Ugh. You do. <laughs> hmm. So they could just make a guy make a guy, right? Like, that, that could also be good. I think I kind of want to... I mean, I obviously want to play Dungeoneer here. What's, What's that thing do? <laughs> what doesn't it do? The battlefield. Take the initiative when you attack. Uh, that's, uh, that's a lot. Of, you're right. That does a lot of things. Yeah. And this is a rogue, too, so it, it triggers when oh. this guy attacks. So it means we should have done it first, but... I was kind of planning on playing this, but like I give them the opportunity to make a guy, and if they at least counter this... I'm going to let them do... I'm going to do this. It's just a 2-2, two -two, right? Yeah, yeah but then it becomes a 3-3, three -three, and they get two 3-3s three for free. I'm assuming they got mana, mana drain. Okay. My assumption was incorrect. So Wait, now we just why go, would it go to a 3-3 three -three all of a sudden? Because they make another one next turn. Oh, yeah, you can do it more than once. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Michael. Get that saga is one where you can, you can do all the things until it's gone. Yeah. You can do everything until it's gone. Anything? Anything you want, bro. Wow, we oh, Jiminy crickets. <laughs> Sometimes you get that old timey candy. Oh, look at this! My folly for not putting in a red. Oh, I did put in a red. I don't want two reds, so this is actually fine. My not, not folly, fun. and I don't need one, so it's fine. I, what I do this is a double red. Shit! <laughs> it's literally why I wanted to get it. Well, gonna maybe make next it. time you'll think about that. I doubt it. That token looks like he's he's got he's got a gut. He's <laughs> Got a little fat boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a little. He's he's, uh, he's like a big hero six. He's rotund. <laughs> I'm not fat. I'm just rotund. That's a sick thing to have on a shirt. <laughs> yeah. What do you think they're gonna get? Black Lotus. It's always Black Lotus. Is it always? Man, you must have really trouble winning games. I have really trouble. You ain't kidding. If we get a time walk, that would be pretty sick. A time warp? Or a time walk. You know what? We got them both. And constructs really get out of hand fast, huh? I don't think so. That's because they're really rotund, you know? I played a game with Yoakum, Commander, and he had that thing that, like, it's like a six drop, it's legendary, it makes a token, but you can make all your tokens the same thing. And he had 19 treasure tokens out, and he made them all constructs, and we all died. It was pretty sick. He said something right there. I don't know they're what like it was. They're like 50-50s each. Oh, 50-50. Yeah. So, like, the only need to attack each player with just one, you know? Yeah. Oh, they're going to take it back? Wow, that's rude. That guy's always changing teams, you know? Now they're going to get in there with this fat idiot? Jeez. <laughs> you don't need to be so mean to him. Yes, I do. Remember when people said pwned in the days of headshot? Those were the days. I made biscuits in the morning. I don't think we can get a red with that, can we? Hmm, that's unfortunate. We do have a ley line. Do we liner. not have a sacred foundry? Because we had a sacred foundry, yeah. Did we take the sacred foundry? I didn't think we yes, did. Yes, we did. Did we really? Yeah. Get out of here. chat back me up. Because I don't want us to lose the game if I misremember, but I'm pretty sure we took it. Oh, I could also get Blood Crypt, which is nice, because that just makes this cost two. That would also work. I didn't know we had Blood Crypt. Let's find out what we have. Don't have it. Crap. Well, if it isn't Super Frank and Bun Boy. Oh, it was inspiring hey, vintage. Where did the mm. Sacred Foundry go? Man, I asked the chat to help, but they Weird. didn't. Weird. He was so certain. Uh oh, it's time for Nancy. She got to go. Two, three, four, five. So I actually think we'd let this come into play tapped, and then we just play Bone Crusher on this guy and Ley Line on this guy. Okay, you make sure you leave the lights on so you don't get too scared. That's what, like, the Super 8? My brain had to think about it, and then I was like, oh, God.
We'll leave the light on for you. Let's get rid of this guy. Even if they, they can't even get him back. He's never coming back. Can I get a discount if they don't leave the light on for me? I take the initiative. Yep, I'll choose you. Choose yourself. And get a free card. That's pretty good. I like free stuff. Oh, I like money. <laughs> Look at me. I have the initiative. Uh, What are we doing here? Forging? Yeah, let's. we're definitely forging. That's definitely the, the ticket. I love forging the ticket, you know? Buddy, you ain't kidding. Forge that ticket, am I right? You get two counters? Yeah, it's not it's not reasonable. On your flyer, they're dead. And you're about to get crushed. You mean stomped? Yeah. Like that stomping crush. Like a bone crusher for If we draw one time walk, I feel like we can win. Has anyone made an alternate art of that yet where it's the guy from Spider Man? Because that'd be good. Stomp? No, like the Bone make, yeah, yeah, that's bone saw though. That's not bone crusher. Oh, uh, you're right. Dang it. I'd still do it. <laughs> I'd still do it. I've been grinding the Diablo this weekend. A birthday even excuse me for one of the chances. <laughs> there are some players in Diablo that are way overpowered, killing world bosses before they have time to finish their spot. Are you serious? That's insane. I feel like see that's so weird because I feel like that kind of like I feel like that kind of power level would have been Yeah, they'll just nerf it on really right. Yeah, just nerf it, you know. It's hard to figure out all the stuff people are going to break about you. Yeah, that's true. Like, not Diablo's a, glitch, a humongous even, like, game. Yeah. I feel often people give QA a little too much slack for things like that. Not that you are. But. I wonder what they got Demonic Tutor. I wonder what they got with it. I haven't seen anything, like, particularly impressive. Maybe they got, like, a late God, that's so card. insulting. I haven't... You haven't shown me anything particularly impressive. <laughs> Play your best pathetic card, guy. <laughs> My grandpa gave me those cards. Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> that guy just threw his cards off the ship. Yeah, that kid was a dick face. Also, it's stupid because, like, in the in that world, those are like, like, like really rare. Yeah, like they would be worth like actual money. So it, you just steal them. They're right? like they're like relics. Yeah. Is Mike B's? All yeah, probably. Nothing works. Yeah, but when we switch to the other setting, I just end up sounding like I have tin foil in my mouth. Apparently, so you can't really win. Wait, hold on. My suppression was all the way down. Let me know if that if that helps me or if I sound worse. Or maybe it'll affect me. Who knows? Because it might be echoing from his mic. It might be echoing from his mic. Listen to our smooth, buttery tones. Well, that's how echoes work. If you're echoing, that means another mic is picking you up. So, Yes, right. Yes. Right. It's like when you're talking to an old person on the phone, they're like, do you have your speakerphone on? I'm like, no. Draw cards. Must take cards that draw cards, buddy. You're talking my language now. That just seems like good old faithful magic. It's better. Okay. What if I go a little higher? Can you take me higher? What if I go to 75? Suppression intensity. Put a silencer on it. <laughs> Let me know if that sounds any better or if it sounds worse or if I sound like... Oh, wow. They, so they topped and then they drew a card. Now they're playing Mox Dizzy, pitching this Triome. Do you think they got Cruel Ultimatum when they're super ambitious? <laughs> yeah, with their double green. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Your mic sounds like you've layered banana peels over a soft, buttery croissant. Is that... I don't know if that's good. I don't know good. if that's good. <laughs> Is that correct? No, you're not getting the... Thank you, Kerwood, sure. for understanding the reference. Much appreciated. That's a good one. That is a good Johnny. Maybe that's what they got. Why? It'd be weird for them not to play it yet. Hmm. Did they recently get the swamp? How long have they added the swamp? Like a long time, right? I think. I got it from the last turn. Okay. 
Uh, okay, we're venturing. We're gonna deal them five, I believe. What's arena? I don't think arena's anywhere close to. Goad? Please. Not very goad, is it? So what do we have? We have seven power and they're at eight. So we just get lost this? No, that destroys it. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Cause oh, that does it, though. <laughs> so we just do this for one. Uh, cast. Hey, man, one. nice top deck. Done. <laughs> That's so rude for you to wave like that. Did you like that? What well, Chandra's minus X? Is it just dome? Uh, it deals X damage to each other to two targets. You can also just do that. That's Kill. true, but I don't have six man anymore, so I gotta play this. Yeah. And put a 1 1 counter on a creature. There's lots of ways to win. They're gonna spell pierce it, though. Oh, they're gonna top? What is that gonna do? They're gonna spell pierce it, huh? Well, not anymore. Okay, we just win. They didn't spell pierce it. You're right. I figured it out. I figured it out. I love croissants. Man, who doesn't? You ever eaten one, man? Gosh, even the crappy ones are good. Even the Pillsbury of the oven are just fine. I had a chocolate real croissant from a little pastry place by us once, and it was the best thing I've eaten. Maybe ever. That place was good. We should go back there. That chocolate croissant was like... I need like a shield, like a, like a fucking mouse shield from you. So like it doesn't echo into my mic, you know? What if I do this? That doesn't... Hello? Yeah, do that. Talk backwards. Most of the mics aren't meant to do that. Stop, stop just saying your name all the time, okay? That's not my name. <laughs> Mike's? Hey, man. Congratulations mm -hmm. on your hard lemonade. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't come up with you. I just noticed that guy in your little video at the top has a Metal Gear Solid 2 shirt, and I'm jealous. Yeah, they can. you can just buy things that you want. No, that looks like an official shirt. They're actually, like, impossible to get now. Metal Gear Solid 2 is also, like, 40 years old now. That's That's what I mean. I prefer Twisted Tea. God, that's rude, man. You're, he's right here. I also prefer Twisted Tea. Don't tell my company. <laughs> then why didn't you invent that? Oh, I'm sorry. You stupid idiot. I didn't invent all the drinks. Oh, you like drinks? Name all the drinks you've invented. That seems very easy. <laughs> if you're a loser. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, he did get me. Well, we have not crashed yet, so that's... Oh, well, that's not what we want, but it's good. Simply Lemonade actually makes a spike. Lemonade is fire. What about Simps? You want a mic screen? I don't know if it's going to be... It'd be it'd be too weird. It's going to have to go like all the way over here. Like it, It's going to have to cover a long distance. I think distance. Uh, Simps Lemonade would have a much different connotation. <laughs> Annie's mac and cheese found by the same... Okay, but Annie's is not just a mac and cheese brand, right? Does Annie make other stuff than mac and cheese? Yeah, they make uh, like everything. Do they? They make like enchiladas. No, you're like... thinking of Amy's, not Annie's. Oh, you're right. So those are different companies. But I'm very curious what what else Annie's makes. Because maybe I just have... Is Annie's the purple box? Only seen mac and cheese from them. <sighs> Look at all this mana. We're going to go play this guy. Okay, I looked at it. Looked at what? Yes, me to look at the mana. Mystic Forge D Toots. Well, I got a little spelly pierce here. That's kind of obnoxious, but I don't think I really care about it, you know? Is Mystic Forge their best card? Is Demonic Tutor their best card? They didn't seem that much colors. Oh, wait. We just saw a Hangerback Walker. And the land doesn't really count. Top. It's one of these two for sure. I feel like it might just be Tutor. I mean, they can just play it. Yeah, that's fine. Now, now all their cards cost four. Yeah, and also if they want to use Demonic Tutor, they got to... It's the same cheese pattern. Tap that's four out of five. That's a useless fact that I will always remember. So I assume it's the smart food popcorn with cheddar cheese on it, not just regular popcorn with cheese on it. Because that would be weird. What money are we doing for this death? $4,000. Um, Kermit, dude, whatever you feel 
whatever you want to do is totally fine. And I'll, okay, oh, well, well, they just top decked that. I would consider that a real good top deck. Me too. But I'm sure this three won't go the distance. We know they currently don't have an answer to it. They only got six turns. Although they can get back the thing to get an answer for it, which is a little awkward. So Kerwit said draw cards must take the card, the draw cards. Okay, we can do that. Also, knowing Kerwit, would be like $4,000. He'd be like, I already sent it. <laughs> I'll be like, that was a joke. And he's like, oh, I said eight just in case. Because that's just how Kerwit does. Kerwit is as Kerwit does, you might say. Like the great philosopher said. I'll give you a buck. A buck two ninety eight if you draft so that's that's too many numbers. That's four numbers for a three digit denomination. It's too many syllables. You're talking to my guy all wrong. It's the wrong tone. <laughs> well, wrong that tone, Othari would have been cool. Wrong language, maybe. Oh, you're getting baked, bro. <laughs> Bake it up. Oh yeah, we're living it up. Man, what a what a fine draw. Whatever, they gotta deal with this guy in four turns or else they're dead. I think they might have got something to deal with it. Power nine excluded. What does that mean? Uh, for Kerwitz, like the most lax stips provider ever. So if he if he like he a he wants to have he doesn't mind when I want to have a, a a reasonable deck, and also usually, yeah, power is always usually an exception. It's always usually uh. Also, if the deck's too unfunctional, it like just makes for a bad. It's a bad viewing watch, experience right? for everybody. Like, if I'm just like, oh, I drew cards, but I never took a threat, you know? I drafted all preordains. I couldn't win. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, one of the Power Nine does draw you cards. Actually, two of them do. So. Oh, look, they're making infinite mana. That's cool, man. I'm sure they won't do anything wrong with it. Anything wrong? <laughs> Everything they do is going to be right. Everyone knows there's no other ability on the Shut card up, that is on his battlefield right now. Count Stipula donated $15. Draw. Oh, wait, he doesn't have colored mana right now, right? Who doesn't have colored mana? He doesn't. Did ah, they just make a bunch of mana and do nothing with yeah, it? Yeah, because you need the colored mana to win with that combo. Smart. I know, because it's like one of the okay. best commanders in, ever. That's ever been made. It's like it's like tier one, basically. Okay, well, now they're at seven. I mean, eight. If you have if you had blue and uh, I'm gonna assume green, you'd, we'd be dead. Current was Count Stipula. You can't assume that. I know. Yes, I can. <laughs> I mean, you can. I was like, actually... I can. For other power over Time Twister. Yeah, time That's good, good, because Time Twister is like the, uh, it's the, it's both the worst power, but also the draw, the draw, actually Ancestral is the, the best draw power, obviously. Also, isn't it still like really expensive even compared to all the other power? Yeah, because it's a command, you can, play, you can play it in Commander, you can't play another uh, power yeah, in Commander. Too. Who though? Who's buying it for Commander? You're right. I know. It's like the casual format. They're like, this is my $5,000 time twister that I can play with my casual group of friends. I mean, it is by far the best draw seven, but at least in blue. Maybe you are. No. Look, they're making that mana again. No. Okay, they hit. Okay, this time they can make infinite. They hit a hanger back. That's good. <laughs> put well, they on, just, they just put on the battlefield. It. What? Oh, they can only do... Well, they got one more shot, yeah. They got two more shots. This is on the stack? It's seven deep, is it, Dig? Seven? It's five cards. Five cards. And it's a non-human. I haven't seen anything that would, like, kill us yet, though, right? Like, and they also don't have a battlefield to, like, hoof us or anything right now. So, I actually don't know. Because usually the setup Where is, like, this mana dorks. Where did it go? Oh, was it at bottom of the library? Exiled? I forget how his trigger resolves. No idea what you're saying right now. The pile that they reveal. Oh, did they exile with Mystic Forge, perhaps? Maybe it was that. That's yeah. probably where Yeah, that's why there's only two exiled. All right. What's the hanger background? Though? Did it die? Did they whiff again? <laughs> Do they have creatures in their deck? Oh, man, this is wild. What's going on? Nobody knows. So they have three green. They've used it twice, it looks Dude, like. Dude, if we win with this 3-1, that would be amazing. Why don't we let this hanger back resolve so that it can just get off the stack? Well, what about the time they mind twisted the mana, us for guess, five? One, two, three, four, five, six? 
Jesus. If we win with just this one two drop, is going to be amazing. You got a top. Top doesn't do anything if you're going to activate this guy, though, because you're just... You're looking at five deep. Okay, you're just going to draw the card. Maybe. Oh, you get to see... You, get, you know what it is. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Clearly, his, like, infinite thing is the... Maybe it's the other ballista? Not the other... The ballista. What's he saying? That doesn't actually work. No, you can't hit yeah, those. Yeah, because you can't... Right, because it, it's, it doesn't... Yeah, you can't do that. For all of your power. T -t -t Today, Junior! It's also in like a super complicated thing to do. It's two taps. Yeah, you click it and then you click it again. Just make a big pile of colorless and then like... I hope I draw Stomp and they go to they go to five with this. Sure, you got it. I guess he can shell dock, but I don't know. I, we haven't seen much th that would be like scary. <coughs> well, it's also game two. Like, I'm sure he has some scary stuff in his deck that we haven't seen. Still going. All right. Say that, but oh boy, this is. Also, I do hope he realizes that there's a point where making infinite doesn't do anything if he doesn't have an outlet. So just look at the top five and please. Yeah, but it costs seven, so he's doing that now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make hundred mana, pass the turn. We're at eighteen minutes. They're at eight. Good Four, five, gravy. Six, what? What are you doing? Are you trying doing to see math if, in your head? Yeah, I was trying to see if we could win the race versus the, the Mirror Battlesphere, and I actually think we do. Oh, there are five now. All right, they're going to do one more hit. One more bump. Just to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Also, if we just draw Fiery Confluence, that'd be cool. If they tap out for... Also, they do have Hoof. They can't do it this turn. So. <sighs> well, we're at 20, so I'm not really concerned. They well, also don't have triple had, green, so if, there's if like... The, I mean, if they waited the turn after to dig again, because it's like a wasting of the dig, but... Oh, yes, the wasting of the dig. Who hasn't <laughs> seen that Lord of the Rings special? Great. You got it. Okay, they have produced a threat. I guess uh, untapped's kind of rough, but... No, that's going to be a big boy, too. I'm pretty sure if if we if we if they untap they're we're dead, but yeah, still going, going more. Okay, if they just had the battle sphere, we actually might be all right. But well, we really have this guy. Okay, <laughs> well that's obnoxious. Looking for a. Now we're probably dead. Looking for a fiery confluence. I need a hero. That's not going to do it. Was that four landed around? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hmm. That would have been comical. Uh, yep. Well, mind twist is a bitch. You're right. I uh, don't want to do that. Just submit. I mean, for the sake of time, I probably should have just played it out and let them attack us and kill us. <laughs> don't laugh at that. I don't think it gives you more, but it does taste better. It doesn't give you more. It's the same exact area. I said it doesn't. Yes, you said I don't think it gives you more. Like, I'm not certain. No, oh, I guess that's the wrong way to phrase that. Science could never tell. <laughs> I don't think it gives you more. It does feel like it though. So this is the meme that just that just popped up. And then Michael's like, I don't think it gives you more. And I was like, it doesn't give you more. It's literally just well, my simple point was math. more about how it tastes better. But I said the first part very oddly. You did. Yeah, fucking odd, oddly. Johnny oddly. Also, it's easier to make an even cut because you can just go corner I to corner. Go yield until the next end step. Do 
you say it's easier to cut? Yeah, because you well, it's easier to get like a straight line. If you're cutting the middle, you might you might be off center, but if you go corner to corner, happens every uh, time. Happens every time. I guess unless you have a shaky hand or something. Who Maybe. hasn't been there? You know. You're gonna, you're gonna have you know, stern scolding? No, you just gotta let it happen. Give him my wall of omens. Because now you have those sharp corners that you can use to fight off scoundrels who would steal your sandwich. <laughs> that makes sense, actually. That's like that's the best argument for for it giving you more. I think. Give me all your money. You made one mistake. This is stale bread. Because <laughs> it's sharp and they and they die. No, don't have. You don't have to explain it. No, I want it to. I don't <laughs> want you to anymore. Stop it. Get some help. You <laughs> know. Stop it. Get some help. Because of the sharp corners, you see. Man, this is Creature Enchantment or Planeswalker? What a bunch of bullshit. When you cut sandwich diagonally, the dark matter in the at the, the tips, dark matter <laughs> at the tips of the sandwich become <laughs> becomes more sandwich. It's quantum <laughs> physics. Well, I mean, he's an engineer, so who am I to argue with he's, him? He's not a quantum physicist. He's a software engineer. <sighs> it's just time walk into it. like fractured identity, their basalt monolith. I feel like that puts them quite far back. Because I am worried about them untapping and mind twisting us. <laughs> the sandwich has given us way too much content. <laughs> also, in the game, if they have mind twist or not, you always lose. So, this is probably the best bet. Oh, yes, quantum advanced quantum sandwich theory. <laughs> You're like, wait, hold on. It's just regular quantum sandwich theory, not advanced. <laughs> yeah, did you not Did you not get the AP quantum theory, quantum sandwich theory classes? Uh, I just took regular quantum sandwich theory. Thank you very much. They're going to add a blue, and then they're going to spell pierce it. <laughs> they did not. They just added a blue. Fascinating. That seemed like a very weird choice, but all right. You got it. Are you just going to give me a 3-3? Three -three? Because I don't even need that, man. I assure you. Are sandwich quarks different than normal quarks? Oh, you get a food toki. Oh, I like Ledger Shredder into Wander into Get Lost on this guy. I like anything that kills Oko, really. Um, can you? I messed up. I'm one. I'm one white short. Dang it! <sighs> Tapped wrong, like an idiot. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Actually, we have seven, so we can actually Lorien revealed, three, and then four. also get lost. Do we? Do we want three, four, five? Are you? What are you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> are you having a brain malfunction? Are we not playing land yet. No. Okay. Now I understand. <laughs> I was like, "How does make seven? There's only six. Get rid of that. We'll draw. Oh, I should have actually gotten rid of Island because it's pretty likely that we'll draw another land. I mean, it wasn't guaranteed, of course, but. Hey, pal, get lost. Map tokens just like make a guy explore, yeah? I think? Yes. Okay. And you can only use them as a sorcery. So don't try to use them at a regular time, buddy. Oh, I would. I'd 100% do that. What are dogs like? What is this? I wonder if Hunter likes that. I don't know what dogs like. <laughs> what do dogs like? What do dogs need? <laughs> wow, I do not remember this one. <laughs> Whatever makes dogs happy sets you free. This is four years ago. Dogs also, I think my hair has gotten lighter since this time. 
I think your hair's gotten thinner. Because, you know, that's just how growing up works, man. No. <laughs> no. I actually got tested for I'm not balding. I got tested. <laughs> I did. I had my blood tested. They tested me. Um... You married a veterinarian. You should know what dogs like. What's a veterinarian? <sighs> you just, I know I can't say it, okay? Are you trying or are you just not doing it at all? Some of blood. not the leggy, huh? Right, in his prime, too, you know? Sad. Look, she's a vegetarian, okay? We get it. <laughs> like Mary Moe? Yeah. Nice. Three cards. How do we make our cards better than their cards? Many Magic the Gathering players ask this question. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think we just pass here. We just got a couple worms, you know? What's the worst that could happen? It's a good question. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, what up, Aaron Campbell? If that is your real name. I didn't even realize who said that comment. Never heard her. She's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Wrapped in a sandwich. Flour tortilla. Shut hmm. up and take my money. Mike's blady friend. Hey baby, I made a sandwich. <laughs> wow. Gee, I wonder who that could have been. It's your lady friend, stupid. Yeah. Old Bortina. <laughs> she made a sandwich for you, Michael. She about just ate, you know. Michael, you don't like sandwiches? I can save it for later, though. Sandwiches keep pretty well. Do they? The bread gets all soggy? You don't know what's on a sandwich. You just assumed. You're right. Was it chicken parm? Totally fine. You know, I guess so. Although usually when someone makes you a sandwich, it's a little less complicated than that. Yeah, no, no one's making you a chicken parm. Oh, God, what are they doing? Mind twisting? Oh, that guy? That's fine. That guy will get bound up. Yeah, like, man, you should like if, it's like if you had too. a lot of cheese, you know? You get bound up. Yeah. Because of the dairy. No, I get it. The dairy. Bound up. Do you get it? Do you get what I'm saying? I get it. I mean, you should sure. make chicken parm so I can eat it, and then we should get it bread rolls and make garlic bread. I like bread, that you doubled down on it. You're like, parm I'm going to make sure he, he knows I said this. On garlic bread rolls. That's pretty good. What does that hit? It hits Leggy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Four. Unfortunately, this costs three right now. So we can go this. Oh, we can go. We can go this. Get Arid Mesa and then Leyline Binding. That's pretty good. Oh, that actually makes it cheaper. Oh, this is four now, isn't it? Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna Paragon. We're gonna Arid Mesa. Crack it for Blood Crypt. He's doing it. He unlocked the Matrix. So that, that actually makes this cost two. I will do that. Uh, we're going to go... Bye, George. I think I will. Two. Get rid of this guy. Make a gentle Jiminy. Shut up and take my Everyone money. knows about the gentleman. Mike B's right? colon. There's too much cheese down here already. No more cheese. <laughs> wow. I'll have you know I've had no cheese today, okay? Hashtag no cheese. Yeah. Um, I think I'd rather draw a card than crack this right now. So that's what we're going to do. They also have three minutes to win this game. So, you know, fingers crossed. They don't. I mean, it looks like we're winning right now, but you never know. You say winning? Yeah. Makes sense. Well, let's see what this is. Eldrazi? Urza. That's fine. They are going to make a lot of constructs, and oh, that guy's good, too. So they can tap their artifacts for two mana now, which is very impressive. It's pretty good. Is that right? Yeah. Not only permanent for mana. Yeah, it should work. It's not doing it, though. 
That's weird. Hmm. I think it should work. Whatever. I think it's going to spin the wheel. They love gambling. They got three minutes? Oh, they're playing. They're, they're, they're paying one, two, they're, they're paying six for something. What's going on? Seven. Six. What's going on? Oh, just Battle Boy? Well, that could be a problem. I mean, we're at 14. How much could it cost? A dollar? Perhaps. Give me that time walk. That'll do. That's pretty good. Uh, well, I mean, considering wins is the game. I agree. Except for we don't have a second red now. That, oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Sarah Paragon coming in clutch. Did every turn? Yeah. You just thought it was once? Wow, that card's... It's really good. Very good, Jesus. Very good, Jesus. <laughs> the Michael B story. Huh. So they're tapped out except for... Oh, I guess they have a bunch of blue right now. Oh, they have no cards in hand. Uh, so yeah, we'll just play Teferi first as a safety measure. Safety for what? From a counter spell. Thought they had no cards. They can spin the wheel with Teferi or uh -huh. with Urza. I guess there's no reason to risk it. There's literally tons of reasons to do it. Fire comes as two inches opponent. Sure, that'll do. Kapow. Oh, they can gain life with their food tokens. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, we messed up. Oh, no, they're not. They're spinning the wheel instead. Oh, let's not. Oh, oh yes. I guess they didn't see it. Oh, that, yeah, they would have went to eight and they would have went to two. Oh, man. And now they're, now they're definitely one mana shy of doing it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's tapped. You have to tap food token. They couldn't have just sacked it. Never mind. That's not how food tokens work. Was I was correct. Untapped? No, it was tapped. Okay. That's how they got mana. Michael, that's really hard. But I mean, before they got the mana, though. Yes, but everything is untapped before you get mana from it. That's how things right, so work. Right, they, they just didn't see it. They could have cracked it still. No, it was tapped this turn. Oh, it was tapped, okay. Why do I... <laughs> just uh, watching the game explains the game. I could have swore they tapped it for mana there. They did not. Okay. Look, man, no more cheese, okay? I ain't... Nah. I ain't nah? I ain't nah. Okay. That's my answer. Man, I feel like I don't eat that much cheese, but oh god, I do. If you, is it stream info? Yes, that's <gasps> correct. Let's do that. I will play first and mulligan this hand. Okay, two five drops, deal. I'll give it a little keeper, Uski. And one of your lands is a creature, so that's pretty neat. Actually, it's probably just better to get rid of Scrubber here. Two blue, two white, and a red. Yeah, that seems better. I like a lot. Come to Wisconsin, I'll take you to the Mars Cheese Castle. That sounds, that sounds amazing. Does it have royalty? Don't don't threaten me with a good time. Can't want to be knighted. By I've the never heard of the King. Marsh Cheese Castle, but considering it's in Wisconsin and it's called the Cheese Castle, <laughs> that was a peak Aaron comment right there. Cheese Castle is pretty lit. It's a triumph. The Cheese Castle is a triumph. <laughs> Taps for three different types. I'm just glad it's not on Mars, you know. Yes. Yes. All right, we need another red source, both to activate this guy and to shoot them fires. I love... Oh, my God. The Cheese Castle is popping off in the chat right now. You think they're going to counter my wall weapons? I didn't think so. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Can I do this? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Which is the play here, you think? Let's try Teferi. Oh, 
Oh, that's never. Oh my god, it resolved. What in the? Oh, now they're gonna kill it. Oh, that's rude. Well, I still drew a card. Oh man, give me a red source for that lady. Should I have? Should I have chosen their lands? You think? Probably, yeah. I can't believe I spent a weekend in Kenosha last year and didn't know about the Cheese Castle. Messed up. I also don't know about the Cheese Castle, to be fair. Oh, good. That's the one we definitely wanted. I love, I love when every game I get mind twisted. That's my favorite. Personally, I'm not a fan. But you know what? Me neither. Well, at least we can win the game with our all of omens. With our all of omens? Yeah. With our all of garden. Yep. That's a guy, all right. How much toughness? Okay, see you later. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichoke. Oh, fantastic. I'm having a good time. You must really like magic if you're having a good time right now. Just make sure. Why should we have bone crusher though? Like I, I, I think being able to keep Chandra, Othari, or Fiery Confluence is better than just having a bone crusher on layaway. You can't afford it right now. This guy just gets killed immediately. Sure it does. There it is. This is the story of the never don't have it. Wow, this is a really interesting. You should see if the Cheese Castle does sponsorships. You hear that? <laughs> oh man. Hey Cheese Castle, I'm a small time Twitch streamer. I would love for you to sponsor my channel. What's that? All the cheese you can send? Fantastic. That's what we're wow. looking for. Wait to pay for the shipping, though. That's not part of the sponsorship. Cheese is heavy, bro. <laughs> I know. What? That's what I'm saying. This is an interesting haste, considering I'll just... Oh, they're going to kill my guy. Smart. Well, I feel like we're doing good this round. Yeah, you, you probably got him. Yeah, that's going to do it. All right. Hell of a fight. Oh, always a pleasure. My dear oh. mind twist. Let's twist again. No. Like we did last round. What if we just like pretend we did and we don't? No. There's so many Netflix movies that look really, really cool, and then they always end up getting like a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I don't it's actually like understand how they consistently have movies that don't perform well. Stuart has a question. So, but what's up with the half-naked woman on Twitch right now? I don't know. I you am know not the watching. Controversy? Yeah, obviously know about the controversy. I don't know what the half-naked woman's doing. I well, that explains it, but... That she's on there? No, it's like where they put the camera here and then they're naked so you just can't see their nipples and they stream like that. So it's like implied nudity. And they also like Is it though? shake around and stuff when people donate. Fascinating. What a time to be alive. Yeah. All right, well. I think they re it though, if I remember. It has, yeah, it, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it from the... <laughs> like daily, they're like, you know what? We made an error. <laughs> yeah, they did. They literally had a whole thing about it. I love watching who's under twenty. It's the ones that are at fifty that are truly bad. Yeah, twenty. You pass the you pass the Rubicon. So it's like, well, now I'm expecting the badness. Yeah, when it's that low, it goes from like being funny because it's bad to just being the just badness bad. becomes enjoyable. Yeah, right. Exactly. Land. Well, it is a land. It's the second red source as well, which is nice. Stuart's uh, dual streaming right now. They're just showing me a lot of MCG content and then a bunch of random topless women. Well, boy, Twitch really... All your interests covered. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm sure they're gonna... They're not gonna mind twist me, right? That would be... That would be just ridiculous, right? They would never do that. I mean, their deck's not broken, but they did mind twist this, which is kind of good enough. 
You know what's OP about about island cycling? You can just get any island. You don't even have to stick to there. Wow, look at that. However, I think we only have regular islands, so. I mean, with them having no threat, that might actually be kind of good for us. Like, if one of our guys sticks around. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to untap and play Glorybringer, so. What if they don't? Oh, they're 100% going to. They might mind twist us first. No, they don't have the mana to effectively mind twist us, so they're going to play Glorybringer. Yeah, but in our world, even if they do, they'll get all the cards we do, they want them or we want to keep. Well, here comes Glorybringer. They're not Glorybringering us. They're just going to kill this. Better than a Glorybringer. Where's the broken shit? Who would have the card? Who who would have that card? Would be who who would have. I think you mean thought that card would be format defining card. Yeah, I I actually did not. Toxic Deluge? Hey man, we're now winning the race, sucker. Well, this is six, so they're basically at seven. Um, what do I want to do? I want Forge. Actually, Forge is even better here, just because it gets us closer to dealing them five, and this is six, which is eleven. You like that math I'm doing, bro? I mathed once. Bullshit. Almost died. Oh, and then they just died of their own yeah. their own sulfuric vortex. Hmm. So I'm gonna play this. And then if they do try to glorify, actually it's only four. I can't do that yet. Fascinating. I mean, right now you're just winning. You don't have to do anything, technically. Actually, yeah, I think you're Playing right. Vortex when you're behind when you're not ahead or have no creatures on the board is a pretty bold strategy. We'll see if it works out for him. All right. So you, you played got, yourself. So you get a five, and then uh, you literally die to trap next turn. Seems good. Let's trap them. What? Trap deals five to, oh. to target player. Pretty good clock that they made for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Whatever so I think works. they're going to play Glorybringer. They're going to try to take the initiative. Gold span's good, too. Sure, that's fine. So oh, yeah, you don't get to do it if they have, yeah. Okay. No, but we're just going to uh, play time walk and then hit a land to try to attack with one of these, this bivouac. This costs two to activate. We just activate this and play time walk and then they're dead. So that's fine. They're going to get whacked on. They will get whacked on. Walking and whacking. Chopping that meat. <laughs> get your little landy. Oh, they're gonna play something. Luris. Doesn't get anything, right? It gets nothing, and they're tapped out, so that's gonna be the end. Also, the lifelink doesn't matter because uh sulfuric. Keep on booping. Mm, Bob. Kapow. And that'll do, pig. This is how you do it. You don't say. What'd you say? You don't say? I said. Oh, okay. You heard me. You were right here. Bing bong. You both know I can't hear. What's that? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, the dungeon arena is kind of insane. Or dungeon, I don't know why I call it arena. Is it? Is there an arena thing that's related to this? I don't think so. Lava Axe is a lot, you know? Yeah, especially when it costs zero mana. That does seem like it would be And better. it's giving you two other abilities. Have you seen the MTG Fallout card? Of course, of course. Of course. I already bought 100 I'm copies. very excited about them. Is it a secret layer? Or? No, it's just a set like the 40K or like Doctor Who. Okay. 
Like a set, but not like a regular set. It's like a set, but not like a regular set. Not like a regular set. Okay, buddy. But yes, like that. Oh, look at this little idiot. That's a good idiot on turn one. Well, I was going to go get a Sacred Foundry. I guess I can get a Blood Crypt. Yeah, that guy's good. Did you get the land that says when it comes into play, destroy target monkey? That feels extremely speciesist. I think we're losing this game. It's not starting out good. Well, what can you do? What if my goblin guide made treasures? <laughs> They can just go land and then play a five drop. Oh, they didn't, though. They have Goldspan and Glorybringer. That's a bit much. You know, I don't think Raging Goblin will ever see play again. It's a bold claim, but... What the hell is a Raging Goblin? It's a one-mana, one-one goblin thing. I know, based. Michael. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. Jesus, God. <laughs> the pain is so real. Like, don't tell me about the Raging Goblin, buddy. Were you a big rager back in the day? But yeah, stay raging. <laughs> Smart. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely just going to die to Ragavan because... Oh, actually... I saw the creature from controls until the... But then it comes back on our side, I think. That's interesting. I do like it when we get to keep our own cards. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't actually killing this guy in response does nothing. You have to kill the seasoned dungeoneer. Oh, that's not going to do what you think it does. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to work. Palace Jailer is not a card where you get your guy back when you kill the Palace Jailer. You have to attack me and then I get my guy back. Presumably. Well. Yes. And we get the initiative. Beautiful. Uh, let's get second red source. <sighs> Fractured identity. Well, that's pretty good. <sighs> yeah, what a fun... Solid hits for everyone. Really glad they made that card. <laughs> over at two and you're just going to kill us with an arc trail yeah. fantastic fun games everyone played hard especially the person who got a turn on ragavan did you prefer the game where they mind twisted you or yeah that one was better <laughs> yeah uh... I prefer the one that didn't suck but that one unfortunately did not exist it was all of them no, they all sucked, so that was none of them. What? I said I preferred the one that didn't suck. You said that was all of them. Oh, okay. All of them didn't suck. I didn't hear that didn't. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, it's really a hell of a card. All right. Let's see if we can close it out with a 2-1. Five lands, three drop wins of Vannon. Eh. It's got all the colors. That's fine. We've got double red, double blue, and double white here. Yeah, it seems greedy to mulligan that. All right. So it's like Commander, man. <laughs> well, they got a Ristic Study out. You know Ristic Study? You ever played that card? Never heard of it. 
It's a three mana card. It says whenever an opponent casts a spell, you they get they get, you get to draw a card. I thought it was a YouTube channel. <laughs> thought you never heard of it. Guess you have heard of it. Huh? Caught in my lie. <laughs> so we can play this and then get rid of this guy with a binding. Do we just let him draw a card? God, what's, it's it's one card. No, it's fine. I'm just gonna pass. I'll take an extra point. It's one card, Michael. How much could it cost? One point. Everything. I have to get his face off the screen. It's too much. Beautiful. Okay, if that's all you did, I'm feeling okay about that. Let's play an elite spelly, baby. Let's see what your hand consists of. Tracker, Emperor, Absent. All of these are not bad. You don't have another land. I kind of, I kind of don't want the Emperor here. Let's take out the Emperor. It's also the hardest to recast because it's the most expensive, right? Yes, but it also kills our guy. So suck on them eggs, Michael Eggy. Son, I don't, I don't think I will. Egg sucker. Just because my name is Egg Sucker <laughs> <laughs> Don't assume that I just suck eggs all the time, okay? I haven't heard that one before, buddy. The Suckerton family name. Fascinating. I'm kind of tempted to just block here. I feel like we win the long game here if we can just. Well, currently everything in your hand draws them a card, potentially, so. Doesn't yeah, seem that's what fun. I was thinking, right? Yeah, because, like. Because I feel like if you don't now, you're never getting rid of it. And you don't want a binding elite either. Don't play a land. They didn't play a land. What's the play here? I would love to take out their tireless tracker. I think we just wait. We play Emperor in response to their tracker or attack uh, their their tireless attack. Er, hmm, that's not bad. You might say I killed it. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> uh, man, poor Spellbinder. He died for one mana, basically. <laughs> this dude is good, man. Messed up. This dude's worth like ten dollars. This dude's worth like fifty cents. So really, who lost? I mean, it's not all about the, value the Benjamins. Of the <laughs> this guy did his job. We just won the game. So all we did was play a land. Wait, they conceded, and then we won the game. Why did they can? Oh, because they were massacred. I guess. I still feel like they were fine. I, I didn't play anything. I don't know. All I did was pay the tax man price, and he, he quit. The tax man price? Yeah. It was weird the way you, you said tax man. You said tax man. Well, we all know I don't say things funny all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you do? Yes, that's the joke. <laughs> I'm just so confusing. I can never tell if he's joking because he talks funny. And that's funny as a joke or is he? No. You know? Does Music City Hot Chicken charge you for extra sauce? 50 cents, I think. Really? Which is like I feel like they didn't charge us for extra sauce yesterday. And I was really excited. I, I get really excited when restaurants don't nickel and dime you for extra sauce. Just give me all... Remember when PDQ... Literally, PDQ had that, like, slogan where they were like, sauces are free. All the sauces you want. That was, like, their thing. Yeah. I don't... I didn't look at the screen to see if they actually charge us for the sauce or not. So you have no idea how much I paid. I could have paid $40. You didn't even look. No, I looked at your grand right. total. I didn't look at your children total. <laughs> I don't know why I said 50 that. 50 cents? Joke. I didn't see them add 50 cents to our total yesterday. I mean, the, it's on the menu is 50 cents. I don't know if they actually like, oh, care. That's, that's frightening. Maybe they're only like... Oh, what? If you ask for five, we charge you. But Wow, that's... Very aggressive. Very. 
It'd be really funny if they don't have anything to crew it with. Oh, it's crude. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hey, look, they crewed it. I still don't know if it's worth spending your... What are you talking about? It loots every game and deals three. Loots every game? Every Forever. turn. till the end of time. Yeah. You don't know anything about looters. Clearly not. You're like a baby... You're like a child, like a big man child. Well, that's true regardless of whatever this is about. <laughs> oh, now you got an ancient tomb? Hmm. Well, that would have been cool. Man, at the Yesterday. Olive Garden we go to, if you get a side dipping sauce, it's like a whole plate. Yeah, Olive Garden charges like $4 for a side of like Alfredo. And I'm like, can you just put it in like a smaller container? Like, give me like a little spoonful. I just want some little tiny dips for these breadsticks, man. I don't need like a, like a boat of it. Yeah, but for his, they gave him a tiny cup for four bucks. So he got even worse. That is worse. Can I tell you guys it bothers me when people call this looter scooter because it's not a scooter. A scooter is a specific type of vehicle, <laughs> and this is not that. Man, if you charge me $4 for sauce, I expect a literal gallon jug of it. <laughs> Olive Garden does not sound good to me. I am, I'm a little Olive garden out, I'll be honest. I think for once I'd also say no to Olive Garden, too. I'm also still fairly full from that Music City hot chicken we had. It's also only like four something. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting rid of something here. I feel like it's this guy. But this guy's real good. It's got to be this guy, right? They're both pretty annoying. I agree. I just feel like with a consistent land stream, the tireless tracker is going to be drawing cards. It'd be doing that. <laughs> Apparently they nickel and dime their family too. It's true. All right, Caracas doesn't bounce anything we care about. Oh, that's fine. I actually think we have a fairly Caracas resistant deck. All of our legendaries or planeswalkers i think othari gets hit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hit my me? toe you what hit my toe huh why would you do that on your little dingus you hit your toe on my dingus yeah dingus on your roly dilly i prefer you keep my roly dilly out of this buddy i wish i i, I wish we had something to get back with this sarah paragon It blocks, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, that's pretty good, but it doesn't get rid of this guy. Not unless they crew it randomly in response to you. Casting it? Casting it. Yeah, I put it on the stack, and they're like, crew, and I'm like, oh, hmm, weird oh, choice, but okie dokie. You know, I don't think they're going to do that, though, so. This is the biggest Paragons you ever seen, buddy. I don't really know what a Paragon is, so. Yeah, you wouldn't. Why is Twitch showing mention people touching dinguses? <laughs> yeah, well, the dingus is attached to the sh to the schlerm, and that's how the plumbus is made. Hmm. Good to know. I watched that that segment recently from Rick and Morty, and I was like, "Wow, this is really improv." They literally just made up this nonsense on the spot and then animated it. That's my favorite part about the show is all the the bits that are like unplanned. Yeah, there's a lot of improv. It's, it feels like there's a lot of improv on that show. I'm going to assume they kept it up, even though Justin's gone. Well, I think I'm like two seasons behind. Well, that means we both are. Yeah. They're really figuring out. Look, this thing's dealt them six damage already. They're only three life ahead of us, and we're, we haven't even attacked. Oh, God, what is this? Unexpectedly absent on the Paragon? That's going to be obnoxious. No, you gotta pay. Yeah, it's gonna expect it. No, it's Palace Jailer. Woof. Oh, yeah, big woof. Big woof. <laughs> Hunter? What? Did I say? What did I say? 
we said big woof. So. Oh, <laughs> oof. He's over oh. there on the ottoman. It's real cute. Is he? Yeah, he's laying on the ottoman. Sure is. I notice he'll never lay there if I'm sitting there. Yeah, it's because your feet are in the way. No, but even if they're not. Like, I've sat there for a while once with my feet down, and he still wouldn't come up. He goes there when he wants. Alexa, living room off. You gotta turn the light on. Let him, let him do a little snoozle in peace, you know? I think you might have already been doing Sorry that, if but... I turned off your your living rooms, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> that is one of the worst parts about that system. Maybe you're watching a YouTube video and someone says something. I don't watch YouTube videos. That's a lie. Can Straight I get that jail. monarchy back, bro? That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Great, you're supporting the monarchy. Typical. I believe in the king. Old man's going exploring in my room. Give me that monarchy, you little son of a biscuit. Probably looking for chicken nuggets. Who, little man? Yeah. He's always looking for chicken nuggets, you know? He's always looking for them nugs. Break them out, bro. Break out them nuggers. <laughs> Nuggerinis. I like that. Do they just play Learning Revealed here? If you give them french fries, they'll eat them. I don't think we're going to have the luxury of cycling this, and I think I'm going to play Time Warp next turn, and I'll play land here, because we're going to be... Oh, I played a land already. Did I really? I think you meant to say casting it, yeah. Give me that. Anyway. Anyway, now we're talking. Can you believe you just lied like that? Messed up. I cannot believe you've done this. I have nothing to cast from the graveyard. Can you believe that? Sad. I guess you can keep cracking your... Well, this is five, and then we time warp, and then we just win, right? You time warp? <laughs> I don't like you. I try to sometimes. Never works. One, two, three. And you still said the right word. It just... Man. And they were like... They were they had their finger over the concession button. They were like, Hah! time warp. Hah! Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hopefully the beginning of this video did not deter you too much. Uh, I'd like to think we got it all sorted out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.